Every night, commercial pilots must fly over this tall, rocky outcrop to land at Guam's Agana International Airport. Flights come from airports all across Asia. Just past midnight on August 6, 1997, Korean Airlines Flight 801 is on its way to Guam from Seoul, South Korea. Captain Park has navigated Nimitz Hill nine times before, but this time, there's a major difference. At airports around the world, pilots land with the help of a glide slope, an electronic system that helps planes safely touch down. If pilots follow the directions given by the glide slope, it guides them to the foot of the runway. The glide slope beacon at Guam Airport has been removed for extensive maintenance. But impaired navigation is only part of the problem. Captain Park is fighting exhaustion. As the plane flies closer to the ground, the crew expects they'll see the airport any second, but the rain makes it hard to see anything. Isn't the glide slope working? Wiper on. Then a computerized voice fills the cockpit. It's the ground proximity warning system, which tells the crew they're just 500 feet in the air. But they still can't see the runway. I've done this flight many, many times before. And when I estimated we're about 30 seconds from landing, I bent down to put my shoes on. 200. The plane is now just 200 feet above the ground, but still the crew can't see the runway. They're quickly running out of time. Let's make a missed approach. Not in sight. Not in sight, missed approach. Go around. Go around! Perhaps! Side in Guam, a shattered plane finally grinds to a halt. It's not until the dawn finally comes that rescue workers can see the extent of the damage. The plane has spilled down the mountain and broken into several large pieces. Only 26 people survived the disaster. <laughs> 